Jubilee allied MPs are now questioning the sincerity of the opposition in the repeat presidential election. Legislators allied to the party claim the opposition is trying every available trick in the book to defeat the repeat election slated for next month. If you do not want an election, we in Jubilee are ready to face the electorate again. Yana wataka leo hutaki. Sasa sheria ya Kenya hakuna mahakama kuu hukumu walotoa haifai ni babu atuambie ni lini anataka na lilili hataki. The leaders trashing Nasa's argument that IEBC was compromised to award the lucrative technology tender to a French company as a mere cover up by the opposition to run away from the repeat poll. We want Nasa as a party to remain as a party with the political interests but not uh, with have the powers to control on how the, the elections will be carried out. We had Raila Odinga speak about corruption and they now want to mass Afran Mofo and other players within IBC in corruption allegations. The Jubilee party is questioning the intent to push out some specific individuals at IEBC even before the Supreme Court issues its full judgment on the invalidated presidential poll. As in Jubilee, there was no mistake and uh, if there was, then it is a mistake that will not affect us as a party. IEBC has in the meantime invited both NASA and Jubilee to a consultative meeting on Wednesday, a request that the opposition has indicated it will not honor. Jubilee will be at the IEBC to discuss matters we find very critical for us for this election to go on. But elections must be held as per the Supreme Court ruling within 60 days. But as Jubilee legislators were taking on Rilo Dinga, a number of the party supporters poured on the streets of Jubilee strongholds of Nairobi, Naivasha, Kiambu, Nakuru and Eldoret simultaneously, accusing the judiciary of staging a political coup. <laughs> Even when the court case was ongoing, the recount of the votes, scrutiny of the votes, opening of those ballot boxes and recounting those votes should have been the first thing that should have been done. The supporters claim they are now ready to defend President Uhuru Kenyatta's win. For Channel One News, I am Edward Kabasa.